So I'm going to be working on the roof today. I'm going to be changing a couple of cracked tiles, it's about half a way, well, three or four cracked ones, and then there's a piece of glass that was sort of a glass light into the roof that's now not needed because we've installed some Velux windows and you can see the Velux window installation on some early videos so I'm going to tile over that. So shall I give you a quick look at the basic tools I'm going to use um, and I'll give you a bit of a shot of the roof and stuff and then just a little overview of how we've changed it. So walkie talkies, so I'll keep in contact with the leash on the bottom, some roofing nails, some liquid lead um, sealant, uh, a tile nail removing tool, um, a couple of hammers, some side cutters, claw hammer, uh, I've got a grinder over there, some copper wire that I'll be using. Um, so the main, the first job I'm going to do is go up on the roof and take out the broken tile. So I may just slide it out. If I can't, what I'll do is use my tile, my slate ripper, my tile ripper. And the way this works in theory is you put your nails going through the tile, you sort of feel it up from underneath. So you get your ripper behind it, hammer on it, whack it down. It should just cut through the nail. Um, if that doesn't work, you can sort of hammer it that way and push it. Uh, it's a couple of different ways. It's got a nice sharp edge, you can just keep that tightened up. So, hopefully, that. On past experience with this roof, even just grabbing it with a pair of side cutters or pliers, side to side, which we have just pulled out. Um, so, we'll see how we go. Access to the roof, I've got my three section aluminium ladder there and I've got a cat ladder on the roof that you should see a little bit later on. Right, so we're up on the roof now. So like I say, I've got my cat ladder to get up on the roof and I've got my normal aluminium ladder to get to the cat ladder. Alicia was putting it all the time. So as far as roofs go, it's not that high. If you look at next door's roof, significantly lower and when I was working on the chimney, I had to have scaffolding, so anyway. All we're doing today is replacing a couple of broken tiles. So, like I said, to get them out, I use my um, slate slipping tool. So I put it under the nails, pull the two nails out. That's got us the tiles loose. Now I've got some replacement use. There's two to replace. I'm going to start with the lower one. put it in like that, I'll put a nail into there and then with the higher one I'll get me a bit of copper wire, thread me a bit of copper wire around and do that to hold it in place. There. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a little bit of copper wire around that and if you can see that I've put a bit of copper wire around that. It's a thick gauge copper wire to, to 2.5 millimetre I think that. Or it could be a four millimetre actually. It's a thickish gauge anyway. Tap the nail down as far as I dare without damaging the um, existing two tiles. So obviously that's the last thing I want to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of dabs of um, liquid lead on there as well. So belt and braces just to hold the tile in place. I don't want to put it right across because that might stop any water that gets underneath escaping. So I'm not wanting to do that want a little bit just to, to sort of help it stick. So a couple of dabs of the sealant on, I'm going to slide the tile in, let it sort of run on the sealant so it's getting plenty on it. And there we are and then literally all I'm going to do with the copper wire is just to turn it round, put it and that'll stop it sliding back down and it should be as simple as that. I've just replaced the ridge tile one there and then I've replaced one here, one here, one there. So several tiles all with that same method. It's looking good. So I'm just going to use my brush now to give the roof a sweep. The bits of tiles done as you can see. I have changed a couple right up near the ridge so I'm just doing a final bit of pointing now. Um, I made quite a nice wettish mix put a bit of lime in it so hopefully it'll get this nice white colour that we had originally and hopefully it'll weather in with it over the over the winter period. So um, 
all in all, it's not been a bad job. I am two, I am several tiles short, so I'm gonna have to go on the internet now, order a couple of tiles. But we have done the, the leaking ones, which were the main concern that I wanted to get done. All the ones that were causing a leak in the attic are done now. It's just a couple of cosmetic ones with little corners and things out I'm gonna change. But that's not so much of an issue, so I'll, I'll just do them at my leisure when we get some nice, nice days over the coming months. We've um, pointed up where the pointings come out to the little bit of copper wire on a couple of them. Uh, they are pretty secure anyway, but I've just put the copper wire there to be belt and braces. Um, and I think once it weathers in, you're never going to see it again, I don't think. So it should look uh, pretty good, hopefully, in the, the coming months. But it's been a fairly straightforward job. And there, that side, that's where we've took the window out. So again, it looks quite neat. Um, most of them are tacked in. Um, it's just obviously there's always going to be one row, unless you go right up to the top, there's always going to be one row where you can't get your nails in. So like I say, I've copper wired it for now. Um, and I think it'll probably just stay like that. If there's any issues, I'll, I'll revisit it and I'll update the video. Um, just a final look from down the bottom. It's starting to get a little bit dark now, but I've managed to change the tiles. I've changed several tiles today and I've filled in a window. Um, well, basically, like I say, um, pretty straightforward. Um, I've got a couple where the edges are just chipped off them um, so it's not causing a leak or anything but it, cosmetically it doesn't look the best so I'm going to order a few more off the internet and I'll change them and thanks for watching the video please like it and please subscribe to our channel put loads of bits of video of our DIY on here so the more subscribers we get the better it is and also if you have a look on Instagram renovating underscore vein underscore cottage put uh, little videos and pictures on there as we're doing little jobs as well so thanks again